Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Rachel. Today I will show you how to make these adorable mini Easter baskets. They're made just from cardstock. All you really need is cardstock, scissors, a scoreboard, and some adhesive. That's really about it. So you start with a piece of cardstock. This one measures five inches by four inches. And then also cut yourself a strip. This is for the handle of the basket. This is four inches by half an inch. And first you do all of the scoring. Put the long side up to the top of your scoreboard and you score at one inches, two inches, three inches, and four inches. Then rotate your paper by 90 degrees and score again at one and a half inches and two and a half inches. And here you can see where all of those score marks are. So you'll have a square down the middle and then rectangles on either side essentially. And go ahead and do a fold at all of your score marks. You don't have to make the folds incredibly, incredibly crisp, crisp. <laughs> so I did not go over them with my bone fo folder. I just wanted to make sure that the folds were in place. This will make it easier once you start actually assembling your, your little basket. The next step is to cut each of those rectangles. You cut from the outside into the center and stop at the center. And you will do this for every single one of those, as you can see here. Now, I just wanted to add a little extra to my basket, so I'm going to ink around the edges of each one of those rectangle flaps. I'm using Distressed Ink crushed, I believe it's crushed olive, no, maybe, <laughs> and ink around the edge of each one. This was helpful, especially for the baskets I showed you in the beginning that were more of a solid color, and it adds definition so that you can see the little weaving that you did in your basket so it doesn't completely blend together. I think it's cute to be able to see the weaving marks. It reminds you of a little Easter basket. By the way, the all the cardstock that I'm using is from a die cuts with a view stack. It's called Melon Twist. It's one of my favorite spring summery stacks. The colors are beautiful. They're pink, green, blues. They're perfect, especially for Easter. It's really, really nice stack. So now I've finished all of my inking and I wanted to do the same for the little strap of the handle. I like to store my little foam pieces at the bottom of my ink pads. What I did was I just put a piece of Velcro, I glued a piece of Velcro on the bottom of every one of my ink pads so they each have their own foam applicator. All right, so now to put the basket together, you start with the two end strips and you want to meet them together to create a rectangle. So I just put some adhesive on two of the sides and then you meet them in the middle and like I said you want them to make a rectangle and that's this step is really the most complicated step of the whole thing so once you got that figured out you're pretty good so next we need to bring in the outside flaps so I'm starting with the flaps on the end and you will bring them up to meet together 
they'll kind of crisscross, not completely. Just like that. So you see how they cross over each other just a little bit. You will have to manipulate them just a tad to make sure that it's rounding up. So you want your basket to kind of curve up and this is where you get that look. So I did that to both sides and now I will just take my scissors and cut off those little extra points sticking out. And instead of just wrapping the center flaps up, I wanted to do my handle because when you see a real weaved basket, it's almost like the handle of the basket is weaved into everything else. It's not really just stuck on. So I'm doing the strap and I'm going to put it where the center flap will cover it. And then I'm going to arch it over and connect on the other side, just like that. And now once I adhere the center flap, you'll bring it up and it will cover over a portion of your handle. So it'll look like a weave basket where it was all, all made in one piece. And really that's your finished basket. You can absolutely embellish it more. You could add brads to the end of the handles. You could add a tag to it and attach it with a brad even. Um, if you wanted to add some stamping, you can absolutely do that. You see how fast it was to create those baskets. I think they took about five minutes a piece. So now I don't have any of that um, Easter grass that you would put in a classic Easter basket, so I'm just going to make my own. I found this cute tissue paper in my storage closet, and I folded it up multiple times and just cut very, very thin strips across. And you just unravel them, and really I thought it turned out a lot like little Easter grass. <laughs> I was pretty impressed, I have to say. It worked out nicely. So you put the your grass inside your little basket, and fill it with whatever you want. Um, I'm trying not to stock up on Easter candy <laughs> just, just yet because I do have Girl Scout cookies on hand. So I packed in some of these uh, lemon Girl Scout cookies that, of course, I ate them immediately after taking pictures. <laughs> but you can fill them with jelly beans. You could fill them with peeps. They're small, but they actually fit more than you expect. So here are some photos of the cute little basket. And thank you for watching. I hope that you try to make one yourself. If you do, please let me know and share it. I'd love to see it.